Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will learn about the Angular template syntax. So in this template syntax, so right now the Angular, the version is running is the Angular 18. So in our course, we are uh, learning about the Angular 17, right? It has been upgraded to Angular 18. So now we will start learning about this Angular 18 only. So in this Angular 18, first I want to explain you about the text interpolation. So what is this text interpolation? So interpolation refers to the embedding expressions into the marked up text. By default, interpolation uses double curly braces. So this one already you know about this one. This is called as a text interpolation. So these are called as a delimiters. So now how this interpolation and all those things works is so we'll try to see a simple example. So here I am opening this Chrome and this is our Chrome and here I am, I am opening this Slack biz stack blitz i am opening it and in the package.json if you try to see this is the new angular version that is nothing but 18 so we'll try to learn about this angular 18 now here in this code if you try to see here and here if you try to see so we were having a name and i will try to write angular 18 features okay so i am writing it here like this now i will try to remove this one entire thing and i will use an h1 and if I want to refer this variable into the template, then we need to use the text interpolation. This is called as a text interpolation. Now I can represent the name here. And now you will be able to see the same output. We are able to get it here. So we need to use the interpolation to display the value of this variable in the corresponding component template. So if you want to display the value of this variable in the corresponding component template, we use this interpolation. So this is the thing. Angular replaces the name with the string value to the corresponding component property. So in this in this thing, the name value is nothing but Angular 18 features. So that is the thing. <clears throat> so this is how we will be trying to do it. And we, now we have understood about this text interpolation. So I want to explain you about the imp another important concept that is nothing but template statement. So you need to learn about this template statement also. So for this one, I will open this one. So now you understood about this text interpolation. So this is just simple one. Just I want to explain you whoever knows about the angle and all those things. So they already have an uh, idea about this text interpolation. So just in a component class, the variable, if you want to represent in that template means then we will be using this interpolation. So fine. So now we understood about this interpolation thing. So we need to, we need to learn about another important one that is nothing but template statements so this one is also one important concept which you people already know about this one but i will try to explain you the theoretical thing so the technical terms in this one template statements are the methods or the properties that you can use in your html to respond to the user events so here template statements means these are nothing but the methods or the properties so you can just tell it as in methods or the properties and for the user events, you can meet with the template statements. Your application can engage users through actions such as displaying dynamic content or submitting the forms. So, for example, let's say that you are having a div element or otherwise you are having a button element. OK, and for this button element. So whenever the user tries to click on this button, so you want to perform some particular action means then we need to use the template statement. OK, so this is the template statement. So the template statement here, what you can do it is, so we will be representing appears in quotes. The template statements appear will be appearing in the quotes and to the right of this one. So equal sign will be assigned to this one. For example, let's say here, I will try to explain you. So on clicking on this button. So now here is the template statement. So here I will be cry, I will be writing something like save details. So this is called as a template statement. So now when the user clicks on this button, Angular calls the save details method in the component class. Use these template statements with elements, components or directives in response to the events. So that is one thing. So now like the template expressions, template expressions means which I want to tell you is this, this one is template expression, text interpolation. Template statements also uses a language that, sim that looks like similar like JavaScript only. However, the parser for the template statement differs from the parser for the template expression. So whatever the parser, this template expressions, the Angular is using and the parser that the for the template statements. So little bit it is different. 
So in addition to that one, template statements parser specifically supports both basic assignment that is nothing but assigning the variables and chaining expressions with the semicolon. You can also write using the semicolon and also write you can unwrite another statement also. So some of the following JavaScript templates will not be support is not allowed. That is nothing but so here you can see the new operator. Okay, the new thing will not be allowed. Increment and decrement operators, operator assignment such as plus is equal to minus is equal to like this. and the bitwise operators such as pipe symbol and ampersand so bitwise or and bitwise and and also the pipe operator so we'll try to learn about this pipe operator pipe operator also so these are not allowed allowed in the template statements so now the another thing which i want to explain you is the statement context so what is this statement context i will try to explain you with a simple example here so statements can have a context a particular part of the application to which the statement belongs for example let's say that i will try to uh, write a button here okay so i will try to explain you about a simple thing so here i will be having a button okay click here and i will close this button so i am closing this button and here i will be writing a click event okay so here i will be writing on click so this is the method so now this context on click so where this context belongs to so this context here it belongs to here so this is the place so on click so it will try to check the method that is available in the context or not okay so here it will try to check it here on click it will try to check it So now this is the place where. So if I click here, an alert will be coming. So now on click, so it will check in the component method. So now we can we can pass event also to this one. So here I can pass the event, and you can capture the event here. Okay. So if you try to check this event, event dot target or anything, you can use it. So now if I try to click on this one, so you will be able to see some HTML button element object. We are able to get it. So that means. so here the dollar event to which one this to so normally i told you right so the variable whichever you are trying to use it in the angular template it will refers to the variable that is present in the component class but here the dollar event refers to represents the context of this template so that is the thing so here depending on the context you will be having so here it it it, 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 it will the context differs so the dollar event belongs to the particular template for example let's say that you are here i am having an array let's say zoom So here one two comma three comma four. Now here let's say that we will be having a div. So I will be using the ng for only. So at the rate for is also has been introduced. I will not explain about that one. You will go. I uh, will go whenever where after after upcoming videos we will try to see about this one. So here I will try to do let num of array, and I will try to display the num. Okay. So now if you try to check it, so now we are not able to get it. Why? Because we need to inject the imports the common module so we have injected the common module and we need to import this common module okay let's import this common module yeah fine so now if you try to check it so now this one is loading let it load it so now here you will be able to see the loop has been doing and here the we have used a variable that is nothing but num in the interpolation so now you may be thinking that this num is the variable which should be present in the component class but here in this scenario it is different why because the context of this variable has been changed the context of this variable doesn't represents the component class variable or the property it refers to the temp this one so the context is the for loop so here whatever the variable we are trying to use it so that is the thing here it will change so this all depends on the context thing and also we have different types of context also for example let's say that i am having an input variable okay input type is equal to text okay and also i can use uh, i can use something like a template reference variable i can use it i will try to tell you about this one all so we will try to discuss so i am showing you just simple thing and if i am having a button okay so here i will use something like click here again and i will be using at the rate sorry click 
is equal to so I here I will be using save details let's assume and I want to pass this input value so here so this input is different so input dot value I am passing now here I will be having the method save details and I will get the value as a string and here I can write alert value that's it okay now if you try to check it here so what it is happening in this one so what it is happening so here I am using a button save details and now the input dot value now in this scenario the context has been changed again the context has been changed in such a way that you are using the hash input here so this input dot value it has it is taking from this one so like this we will be having different context okay so this is called as a context thing so the template context names takes precedence over component context names in the preceding the in the preceding thing so here the template input variable it is taking uh, the template will not the components thing so that this is how the template statement context will be having so now the second one which i want to tell you is the statement best practices what are the best practices we need to use it first one is the use method calls or basic property assignments to keep template statements minimal so method calls only or basic property assignments only we need to use it to keep the template statements minimal and another one what I want to tell you is the the context of a template statement can be the component class instance or the template because of this template statements cannot refer to anything in the global namespace such as the window or the document. So that means the context whatever the context we are trying to use it here in this template. So this will refers to the either the component class or the template instance of the template. So these are the two things the context only it will be having. If because of this one the template statements which you are trying to use it the template statements cannot refer to anything in the global namespaces like the window or the document those all the things will not be referred. So because of that reason template statements cannot call the console.log math.max or math.min so those type of statements will not be supported in this template syntax. Why because the context of this template is only the component class or the instance of the template. So this is what I want to tell you about the template statements concept and the text interpolation. Hope you understood about this concept. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.